started mining cryptocurrency three years ago. After a long break, I'm back. My farm has been up and running for over a month. Let's take a look at my mining farm, how it's doing this month, how are profits. Stay tuned. January started off a great month for crypto mining. Unfortunately, over the month, profits began to drop. At the beginning of the month, my mining farm was making about $11 a day in profit after power costs. Unfortunately, now I've got 22 graphics cards and they're only making about $3 profit a day. But guess what? That doesn't concern me because I'm not selling any of the coins that I mine. I'm either switching them into Bitcoin to hold long term or I'm holding the smaller currencies that I'm mining in hopes for big time appreciation when the bull run comes along. The Bitcoin halving, which most of you know, is only 90 days away. Generally, within a year after the halving, crypto and Bitcoin see a huge influx of new cash and price appreciation. Let's talk about strategy when mining profits are down. What that means is people with higher power costs, they're gonna have to be turning off their rigs because they're no longer profitable. What that does for us miners who have 10 cents power is that allows us to mine and we're actually yielding more coins than we were before. That's because the less miners there are, the more coins that get spread around to the miners who are still mining. So my current strategy, I used to be mining whichever coin was most profitable back when, say, AIPG on the Kapow algorithm was making $11 a day. The next best coin was only making about $6 a day. In that case, I'm going to mine the most profitable coin and then switch it on Trade Ogre to one of the smaller coins that I'm trying to accumulate, like Radiant or Nexa or Neoxa. But now, the most profitable coin is only 20 cents more profitable than the next one on the list. So with it being that close, it's not worth it for me to go always switch my rigs to the most profitable coin and then trade it out for the currency that I want. I'm really trying to accumulate some Alephium before ASICs end up taking over the entire hash rate. If you don't know, Alephium, Radiant, and eventually probably Pyron and Carlson, those will all be getting ASICs eventually because they are not ASIC resistant like the Kapow algorithm is. So currently I am mining Alethium on every one of my rigs and I'm mining Zephyr on my two CPU mining rigs. I didn't buy any new graphics cards this month, but I did do a little bit of rearranging of my rigs. If you remember, this rig behind me used to have all 3060 Ti's and then a 3060 and a 2070 Super. What I've done is all of these 3060 Ti's are Hynix and Hynix memory is really bad at mining Kapow. It, but it just so happens that the 3060 I had was good at mining Kapow. So what did I ended up doing is moving all my Samsung memory 3060 Ti's and that 3060 onto the rig that's down in the garage. And what that does is it allows me to mine Kapow on that rig with great efficiency. All those 3060 Ti Samsung cards, they're killing it. That allows me to mine Kapow on that rig. And this rig, since it's Hynix memory, it's terrible at Kapow. And that 2070 Super actually lines up really good with those 3060 Ti's. It mines very similar. It's not good on Kapow, but it is good on the Radiance of the World and the Lithiums and the Pyrons. So I moved those cards around and now this rig behind me is strictly mining those low power coins. It doesn't touch Kapow even when it's most profitable because it's not efficient. A quick update on how heating the house is going. You remember an earlier video on the channel, I was heating my entire house with the mining rigs. I hadn't had to run my heat one time at all in the last week. Unfortunately, we had a big cold front move through. Wind chills were down to the minus 10s, minus 15s and I did have to run my heat. So I'll flash up my usage on the screen. For eight degree weather was the high on a few days. Only having to run your heat for at a maximum of like three or four hours on the worst days, that's still pretty dang good. You can see the last two days, we've gotten back to normal temps and the house is nice and toasty. I haven't had to turn that heat back on. Let's talk about some future plans for the farm. Pretty soon, I'm gonna have to start putting together a real plan on 
where to put all these rigs come summertime because the heat is obviously going to get too much to mine in the house obviously i've done this before back in the ethereum days i move everything to the garage i set up a nice little exhaust fan system i've got two windows down there so one as an intake and one with a big fan as exhaust i'm going to do a similar thing this time around but it's going to take some planning the way that the circuits in this house work is that i have to run extension cords and normally you're not supposed to use extension cords when you mine in my case however though i'm using 12 aug just heavy duty guys so there's really not an issue but i have to plug those into different rooms in the house and then run them to the garage luckily I run one through the floor of the office so that there's not an extension cord going through the middle of the house. And the other one is the room right next to the garage. So it just goes straight through the wall and we don't use that room. So that's nice as well. But pretty soon I'll have to be getting all that stuff in order and I'll be making a video on how to prep for summer because a lot of inexperienced miners, they think they can continue on how they've been doing it in the winter. and. Uh, you're you do not want to be using AC to fight the heat from crypto miners that is a lose-lose situation you're losing power from running your AC extra and your cards are just gonna be incredibly hot because they need to be getting fresh air circulated to them I wanted to thank everyone who subscribed to the channel pretty recently it's less than a month old and we've already over the 300 subscriber mark 10,000 view mark I couldn't be happier and I want to thank all you guys I've got some big things on the way. But anyway, thanks for watching this farm update. I'll see you guys next time. Hit that subscribe on the way out. See ya.